Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone from TarotForHealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is your this is your monthly astrological reading for the month of September. This is for the Virgos. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be signing off with your playing cards like I usually do. Then getting into the more specific areas of your life with the beautiful creatures tarot. And then I'm going to pull a angel answers card for you. So let me start with your playing cards. You have the king of hearts with the ten of clubs, with the two of diamonds, with the seven of hearts. So what these cards are telling me is that you are, you are probably dealing with a water sign person. And but I think that is if it, if they're saying a water sign person, which could be like a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, is that this person has that kind of water sign energy about them. Like they may be really nice, they may be considerate and stuff like that. But even though they're nice and considerate, things like that. Actually, I, I say considerate loosely because of the fact that the card next to it kind of shows that this person may be bothering you or burdening you it could be that this person i'm feeling like for quite a few of you guys this could be a boss or like there's some kind of authority figure in your life they're kind of um but what they are doing is they're giving you a lot of responsibility giving you a lot to manage by yourself and i think that you are you're in this job or in this situation because of the fact that you um, it's for financial matters like you might be like oh finances are a bit tight so I have to be here I have to deal with this situation um, as it is right now but then also what I'm seeing is you're going to be looking at other options so it could be saying again if this is applying these playing cards are applying to strictly a work situation it could be saying that you are going to be looking for other jobs other avenues of making money other things that you can do or um or it could even be you saying, it, it, like, if it's a relationship that you're in, it could even be you saying that, you know what, I do have feelings for this person or whatever, but I need to kind of move on or I have to expand my options or see what else is out there for me in terms of a partner because this person is just too much work. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Like, it could be too much work in a personal way with a relationship you have with somebody else and you're thinking, you know what, like, you're thinking of going outside this relationship or, um, or again, you could be packing this person in all together. That's kind of what I'm seeing in your um, tarot cards, but I'll come to that in a bit. Um, but, um, I feel like it also could be coming through in a work situation where somebody is kind of in a position where they're just giving you too much for you to deal with and you're just having to, you have to make some decisions. So when it comes to your work, that's kind of where I'm seeing some decisions need to be made because you have the skills of air here. And this card would be um, a Libra kind of energy about it, but then it... Um, it uh, the the playing card the playing card the tarot card that it would traditionally connect with would be the um, queen of swords. So what this card is telling me is that you have some choices that you need to make when it comes to your work or financial situation. And as you can see here, she's the one actually holding the scales. I'm sorry about the shine and everything. There is a fly that is just getting on my nerves like so badly. It's just Oh, okay. Um, but I'm trying to ignore it. I don't want to kill it because I'll, I'll feel guilty. But it's getting on my nerves. And I don't want to open the door like right now because it's like late and stuff. So, anyway, that's my problem. That, that's nothing to do with you. Okay. <laughs> your situation with this, um, with your work, or maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe the same way this fly is bothering me, you could be dealing with somebody that's really like bothering you because that's kind of what I'm seeing in your playing cards. Like somebody is just getting on your nose because they're giving you too much to do <laughs> so um yeah what this card is saying is you have to make some choices in this situation and like she's holding on to the scale so she's the one that has to make this choice this is her decision it's like the weighing scales are on either side of her so it's like are you going to speak up for yourself and be like okay this situation just isn't working for me because it's just too much going on i need some help i need some support i need something or um is it going to be that you're going to move on to something else when it comes to your work situation it's, it's kind of like you have some decisions that you need to make but what i'm seeing here is that it's saying that you um 
you are you're you're you you're diplomatic when it comes to when it comes to other people like you can really be so you can really um you have the opportunity to kind of win people over um if you really want to go that route so if it, again if it comes down to you having to say something having to voice an opinion i think that you're likely you're more likely to be heard you know um especially if you need some assistance or something like that um what i'm also seeing here is that you um this card is really speaking to you. It's like you have the know-how when it comes to the work that you do. You have the know-how. You are wise. And maybe that's the reason why you've been given all this responsibility. Like, you know what you're doing when it comes to your work. And you may have a lot of, again, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. So you, and, and the only reason why they're giving it to you is because they know, they think to themselves, okay, sh you can manage this situation. And so maybe up until now you've been trying to manage everything been trying to do everything but again it's like it's coming down to you um having to decide upon okay what is the best call of action for me right now so i really feel that what the general message is in this card is even if it's showing up for different ways for different one of you got for different um for different you know virgos what I'm seeing here is that you have to decide on what is best for you right now when it comes to a work situation or a financial situation. You have to put your own needs first. And another thing that just came to me right now, which I think is going to is very significant for quite a few of you guys, is you have to use your wisdom. Be smart. If certain situation, if you've been in this situation before and it either didn't work or it didn't feel right or it just wasn't good for you, then it's kind of saying that you have to refer back to that time and decide that, okay, I don't want this situation to be happening again or playing itself out again. So it's kind of saying like this is the time to kind of use, um, use this time to make some really wise decisions. Uh, when it comes to what you're what you're trying to achieve in work or career another thing that i'm feeling as well is does your work and career meet your overall goals like are you where you want to be is this really what you want to do you know if this is the time where you kind of have to break things down and start really asking yourself those kind of questions um this can be a card that can kind of represent a bit of procrastination as well so it might it might be that it takes you a while to make this choice like i don't see that you're gonna you're gonna make a final decision in september some of you guys might but i feel like september is the time where you're where you're or, or even currently now in august where you might be already thinking these things um but you're still kind of in that deliberating phase okay you know what do i do how do i approach this how do i make these changes how do i uh you know make this choice like that's kind of where you're at but you haven't really settled on something yet so this is the time for you to kind of settle um and it's a good time for you to do that because i feel like your logical mind and your um intuitiveness is is going to be like really in sync so because it's going to be in sync i think that you're going to be really looking at this um area of your life from a really broad kind of perspective again you're going to be going with what feels right but then you're going to be using your mind to sort of plan out how you're going to do it how you're going to go about everything so yeah i think this is a time for strategizing when it comes to work and money the card that you have for those of you that are in relationships is the transformation card and this would traditionally be the death card in the um traditional tower deck and so what i'll tell you about this card <laughs> is that okay the the obvious uh, thing about this card is I could be saying that a relationship is just ending and again I was kind of feeling like for some of you guys you could be dealing with somebody that you know you're with and again they could be like getting on your nerves or something like that so it could be that okay maybe you just had to be like okay let's put this person to the side I have to kind of move on with my life kind of situation so I feel like some of you guys are going to be doing just that you're going to be moving on with your life certain situations may be coming to an end I don't know why but just all of a sudden I'm really drawn to this skeleton that's here like at the back here and he is like he's got like light like it looks like fire or something is behind him he has all the others like they don't have that So I'm feeling like you could be moving on from somebody else, maybe because maybe you maybe because you have somebody else in mind as well. Maybe you have somebody else in mind, so maybe you're going to be moving on from one situation that just didn't work for you into like a completely different situation, or maybe you're going to be just talking to somebody new, 
or maybe you got somebody new just at the back of your mind and you're just like you know what i just have to leave this old situation alone because it's not really working for me because this card because it represents transformation is saying that something has to change when this card shows up so it's almost saying like if a relationship doesn't change it will end something has to change about the nature of this relationship for it to keep on going so it's kind of a make or break period are you going to do the work that is needed or can your partner do the work that is needed if not then it kind of leads to like a separation so yes yeah, so for you is the transformation card if if you're in a relationship if you're not in re in the in the if you're not in a relationship you have the virgin of earths which is the same card that taurus received in the exact same position as you all your other cards were completely different but this one is landing in the same place but this is you <laughs> basically so you're the virgin of earth this is your energies virgo energy this would traditionally be the uh, page of pentacles in the traditional tarot and what this is kind of telling me is that um for some of you guys you may but i feel like this has a different meaning for you i feel like for some of you guys you have to kind of go back to basics when it comes to what you want or what you're desiring from a relationship um it could be saying that again maybe your standards for some of you guys may be quite high maybe you just you don't want to settle for just anybody maybe you're just looking for somebody that is special looking for somebody that can come into your life and really uh, make you feel just that sense of love oneness connection and bonding and so that might take time for you. So I kind of feel like for some of you guys, you're going to have to just sort of be maybe by yourself for a bit, see how things feel, see how you feel about certain things and just kind of um, sit with that kind of energy. Um, and this might be a good time for you to even just be single and be just doing you and just not even focusing so much on, on kind of relationship stuff and whatever, if you're not in one that is. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling like these cards are showing up. But I feel like for some of you guys, it could be that that's what you're wanting. Like maybe you are actually want a relationship and stuff, but it's just kind of, to me, this card is like more saying that it's good to sort of just turn within you and and also if you like do meet somebody it's definitely saying not to rush don't rush into anything with um somebody just kind of take your time especially for, for if you are leaving a situation and going into a new situation like just kind of take your time with that whole kind of thing you know give yourself the time that you need to get over that old stuff and um because i kind of feel like when you come out of the old stuff um regardless of whether you're single or not i think that september can be a month where it's like you can feel a sense of feeling renewed or a sense of being at peace because it's almost like shedding off of that old situation and then coming into sort of a newer situation but then at the same time if you've been single for quite some time it could just be a time where again it's just more just about you and um not so much about like someone else so um yeah the um your spirit card is the mage, which is the magician. And the magician, again, is like it can represent you stepping into your power, knowing that you can create your own reality, create your own destiny. You're in the driving seat this month. So it's kind of saying, like, to me, that's like really connecting with the message I got for your first card, which was showing up in your work situation. It's kind of saying that you can manifest what you desire in terms of your work like you have the power you have the influence so again speak up let your voice be heard if there's certain things you want to do let it you know let people know because this can be the month where you can do that and then at the same time again if if what you've been wanting to manifest is even a separation from somebody that could be a good thing for you to go and do as well if that's what you've been wanting if you've been trying to tell somebody that you know things aren't really working out they're not really hearing you <laughs> september could be the month where they finally do hear you and they kind of let that whole situation go you know let it go by the wayside because i think that this card is kind of connected with that death card too because you can see that there's skeletons back here as well and i'm kind of feeling like even she has her back against these skeletons the other one kind of she had her back to some but this one has her back to like all of them and she's and she's still doing her magic like even though they're like there like she's not even paying them any attention so it could be saying that there might be some people 
and then look at her book as well it has like a skull on it too it's like to me there's gonna be there might be even some people that you're turning your back on so this could be even more than just like a relationship situation this could be even maybe old friends just old acquaintances like you're just wanting to turn your back to anything that is just over with like relationships that just don't serve you anymore or situations that just don't serve you it's like you're really on to the next like you just can't be asked <laughs> to deal with like that kind of stuff which is good it's like to me there's no point wasting your energy to something that you just know is a dead-end situation and that's just not going anywhere and i think for a lot of you guys that's going to be the theme like you're just thinking of what is the next thing that you can do um and again you can and, and with, with, with this card is saying that again you have the power to do that and so um how this can connect to you like on a spiritual level is um this could even be a good time where within yourself um you could be learning more or, or developing more of a spiritual practice as well focusing more on what you you need for you you know in terms of um your own spirituality so again this is a law of attraction kind of energy um you learning about universal laws things like that so uh, maybe these are really going to be really good things or maybe even introducing some of them kind of um methods of the you know law of attraction writing it down making it happen all that kind of stuff might be really useful to actually do um in september as well so yeah i'm gonna pick an angel answers card for you so let's see what is going to show up for you and this can serve as your advice card so let's see for the month of september let's, what card wants to show up for you um in the near future so i feel like you're saying again in the near future things are going to be better so what this is saying is that the things that you're manifesting in september can really bring out some really great stuff in the future so that's what i was saying especially with this card showing up i feel like september is a month for decision making which is really interesting because this is actually libra and in september we're kind of moving into libra kind of energy um because it's going to be that the month um that libra begins so it's kind of saying this like september is a month of deliberation it's a month of using your ideas using your manifestation energies because i feel like you're going to be really creative as well and imaginative so it's almost like if you can envision it in your mind you'll be able to create it in reality and so this is the time for you to sort of go to the drawing board work out how you're going to map things out how you're going to be doing things maybe how you're going to progress for the, throughout the rest of the year and then in the future it's like you're going to be exactly where you want to be and achieve the things you you set out from this month so um when this card shows up it's showing that this month is going to be really pivotal in terms of something that you're going to be bringing in later on and it's going to be exactly what you wanted because with this uh, mage energy happening you're very creative and you can create a lot so you know use that energy use divine inspiration to guide you as well your thoughts your ideas write them down you know because when you write them down you solidify them now they become tangible and now they can they have that energy to really become reality so use all that kind of stuff and um and again when i look at this card as well it's kind of saying let other people help you and guide you as well if there's people that can give you advice assistance anything let them help you because now that you're in the planning stages it might be good if there is somebody that can that you can just bounce ideas off or like you know stuff like that like use use other people too that can help you so yeah there you go i'll see you virgo bye